Derek Wonstall, Parish Council Chairman at Sheldon. So we're in a village, a quiet village, where there's a massive housing development planned, around 500 homes, but the villagers are very opposed to this, aren't they? The villagers are all opposed to it. Um, members of uh, the Parish Council are opposed to it. The numbers are too great and there is a lot of problems as to uh, on the sites and also problems out of the development sites. So let's take a walk and have a look at one of these sites. So here we are on one of the sites. Now where is the development going to take place? The development will take place as you come across to the hedgerow across there. It will come roughly half across the field and go up towards the allotments which are over on the hedgerow up at that corner. And that's roughly where the um, site will be developed. And um, they are saying that the surface water pond would be in this field over in that side. Because there are some major problems you've identified and other villagers have identified about this site, aren't there? First one is flooding. The flooding is a big issue. We have flooding in the village. The drainage cannot take it as it's soak aways. And uh, the other problem is obviously the um, roads. And when it comes to it, it has come to my attention now. There possibly is um, a mining um, works that firstly took place in this field. And I've been told, but it looks as though the um, site is starting to drop as you look across towards the uh, church lane. OK, so we're in the centre of the field now and um, you can see clearly that the land does dip down. Now, where would have the nearest pit head have been from here? Well, the nearest pit head would be Betsanger, which is, as the crow flies, perhaps a mile away. And Betsanger was a big colliery, wasn't it? And the, uh, the pits and the shafts actually went out to sea, which is over that way, isn't it? Yes, the um, uh, pit um, from the shaft and downward um, and the seams would go underneath and I've been told could come across this way. You see a drop in the soil which could be, and I'm not certain, but could be where they go and um, go out to sea. Well, and there's likewise on the other side as well. What would this mean for builders though? You'd have problems with flooding, you'd have problems with unstable foundations I guess as well. People in the houses over at um, Hunter's Wall have trouble getting insurance and this is because it's in a floodplain and the floodplain comes halfway or a half circle across this footpath. Although the updated one um, has put a different issue on it and it looks as though it goes further. So your message to the developers really will be look again at the suitability of this site, wouldn't it? I think the suitability for both sites, um, although it comes from Dover, both of these sites have got to be really looked at and at the present time they're not suitable for building 500 houses uh, in Shoulder, which will double the size of the village. What will it mean to the village? It would mean nothing to the village really. Um, the only thing that would be better for the village if our primary school could have been recited and that's on the other site up at uh, Sheldon New Road. But apart from that, nothing is gained, only the great loss of agricultural ground, which we can see is still being uh, cultivated on both sites. Thank you very much and best of luck.